because I, I had an aunt that got in a fight with her co-worker and I don't know if I, I said this in a pre previous episode but the co-worker was Russian and obviously my aunt is Somali and the co-worker said you know such and such you nigger and so the aunt turned around and said me <laughs> no 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 I have never been enslaved never I am not nigger I used to have niggers Wow. Right, uh, which is which is I it, it's yeah. you know it was humorous. I'm not gonna lie. The story itself was like, oh my god, like yeah. almost like uh, what? What do you? What did you just say? Mm -hmm. But going back in history, we weren't enslaved. That's a lot of Somalis say we were not enslaved. We used to have slaves. And now, if you go back, right, and let's let's uh, let's bring something else back. You go to Hargeisa. You go to Hamar. You go to Galkayo. Who are uh, like the housemates? The people that do your laundry, the people that do your dishes, the people that clean, the nannies, and so forth and so forth, are usually the West Africans. And what when I went there, the West Africans were known as what? A derogatory term, but which jered, exactly. daga, so forth and so forth, yeah. right? But it was never a Somali girl. So that shows me that there's a systematic oppression still happening in Somalia. With us, like our, like we, yeah. we here are niggers. Back there, we have niggers, yeah. Yeah. which is really messed up. Yeah. Do you yeah. see what's happening here, right? Yeah. Um, and so that's what I just wanted to bring back up to the table is that there is systematic oppression happening to us here, mm -hmm. and then back home we oppress others. <laughs> you know, in Canada, I used to teach at York University. Some of my students they come to me and they say, Prof. These white people, they discriminate us. This is not right. Me, this, this, I said, yes, welcome to the real world. Because I have training for discrimination. You gave me. Back home, you gave me that training. To me, this piece of cake. <laughs> I never felt even single day in Canada that I was discriminated, never. Because I was already prepared by you guys. <laughs> Somali. So if I tell you my, the historical background of what happened to me and what happened to my brother, which he all registered, his book is called uh, Unearthing Apartheid in Somalia. You can't believe. When my brother graduated from primary, all the teachers, all the parents were invited there and uh, my brother was number one in that school. The headmaster was Ustad Abdullah. He was a half Arab. And Ustad Abdullah, then children are given their certificate. They called their name and the parents are there. My brother was called and he went to get his certificate because he scored all hundred. Hundred, 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 hundred. So the headmaster said, this is the kind of student we want. This is the kind of student who will help tomorrow the country, the what not, and what not. And an old parent stood up and talked to the master and said, trying to tell us all of our children were defeated by this slave. Because we are considered a slave in Somalia. Not only we, every African Negroid looking person, if your nose is big, if your hair is kinky, you are a slave. I don't know who owns me. <laughs> I'm looking for my master I don't see yet. <laughs> ¶¶